Hi guys, tonight I'm very excited because Kat will be making me my favorite pancit bihon. This is his recipe and I just love how it tastes. So I'm very excited and hungry. Let's start off with the garlic, then he chops the onions and then the bell peppers. He normally puts them in one plate so he can access them anytime he needs them. Then he chopped his veggies. He started off with the cabbage. I don't know with you guys, but this is my favorite way of cooking the pancit bihon. Scott's recipe of pancit bihon. Not being biased, but just try it if you can. There you go, he's starting off with his carrots. Started chopping them. These are our veggies, ready and prepared. So this will be the meat that he will be adding into the pancit. Uh, the kikyam and uh, whatever's inside that pack. Then he boils the water. He just added a little soy sauce in it and fish sauce. Now it's boiling. He just makes us a little bit and strain it off the water. Then he will be doing exactly the same process for the cabbage and the carrots. But for them, it will be really, really quick so as to avoid getting it too saggy and to ensure that we're keeping their nutrients intact. So he added a tiny bit of oil into the pan to the onions and the garlic. Before he added his sauce. Bring it to a boil and add back the balls. Then the yellow pancit. Mix it really well so it will absorb the flavors. Add the white pancit or the pancit bihon. Mix it really, really well. Then the bell pepper and more flavorings, salt and pepper. Then after turning off the heat, he added our veggies, the carrots and the cabbage. This is to ensure that they remain crunchy when we eat them. More makos makos and my favorite part, tasting! I so love it guys! Now you can make your own pancit, enjoy! <laughs> 